Television has always been great fun to make. This series is even more fun because you get to not only create television but invent animals. Um, but it's not just an act of fantasy, and I'll let uh, my two experts tell you about that. Okay. Okay, it's a matter of looking at what has gone before. Look at what has happened in the last three and a half thousand million years of evolution. Looking at the patterns, looking at the, uh, at the accepted procedures and extrapolating it certain times into the future. What has worked for animals in the past is likely to work for animals in the future and that is what, uh, uh, what we have started with. And then we have to check everything, make sure it really could work. Uh, if there's a flesh flying through the air there, we need to know that it's got enough muscle and the right sort of muscle to, to fly like that. If we've got a very big animal, we need to know that it's going to be able to stand up. And, well, my line's biomechanic, so I know about the strengths of skeleton skeletal materials, I know about how hard muscles can pull, all that stuff, and my job's to make sure that everything's plausible, everything could work, and what I found really impressive is that if some beautiful idea for a marvelous looking animal comes up, and we scientists say, no, no real animal could do that, then it doesn't happen. Quite sad sometimes. Very sad. <laughs> so, uh, but talking about the uh, uh, the flesh, as Professor Alexander said, the the uh, the flying fish animal that we can saw we, featured. Can in, we see that? Um, because this can is we, uh, is one of the uh, uh, one of the big things that we are coming up with. Way there you go. <laughs> well, look looking back through the history of life on Earth, we see many different flying animals. Now, flying animals have always evolved from land-living animals to start with, and the land-living animals all evolved from sea-living animals. But we thought as a, a bit of an exercise, let us try and evolve a flying animal directly from a sea-living animal. And that is where the idea of the fish originally came from. Originally, a fish, but developing the powers of flight to take it into the air without going through a land-living phase. And this is what works, what works for us as scientists, what works for these guys as filmmakers. It works, we use it. And what you've got here is an animal, it's got very little muscle down in the tail here. This is the bit you eat of a fish nowadays. But the bit of this that tastes good is around here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, where, that's where you've got our, the wing muscles. And that's going to be muscle capable of very sustained activity. It's going to be a bit like tuna. <laughs> <laughs> and then here, uh, these have evolved from fish fins. <laughs> but down at the base of the fins of a fish, you've got some small bones. And these have uh, extended. These are the bones that in our own ancestry became our, our, our arm bones. And here they developed in a slightly similar sort of way uh, in, 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 in the flesh. So that's how we get a wing like that. Mm -hmm.